Seth Johnson just did a video on ram pump delivery height and he can only test up to 35 feet in delivery height because he lives on a hillside uh, and that's as, kind of as far as he could go and I'm kind of testing similar pumps but I don't want to have to drag a, a hose 60 feet in the air in the trees or hundreds of feet that way up the hillside to get the same elevation so I've I've been thinking about a way to limit or to create back pressure with zero flow impediment as long as it's below a certain flow rate. Um, so I tried this. This is a, a $10 blow off pressure relief and it's adjustable. The only problem with this is, at least at the lower pressures that I was testing it, it had like a, a 5 psi range where it would open at say 9 psi and then shut at 4 psi so that, that's not really uh, a similar setup to how ramp pumps work you know they have uh if there's more flow the pressure doesn't go up necessarily aside from fluid friction and inertia of the mass in the pipe so anyways uh if you've ever seen a spiral pump it has a coil of hose or pipe on a water wheel or some other spinning device and the water fills up one side before the other and that creates a pressure differential between the one side and the other. So I was like, hmm, I wonder if I could create a similar pressure uh, differential. This is literally the first time I've put this on. This, this pipe here is dry. So let's see what it does. I'm just gonna open this up a little bit. It's hooked up to my my house water supply there. We're gonna put a little bit of water in, but I don't want too much. I want it to I want it to dribble over the top. You see how it's just slowly dribbling over. Oh, look at that! Look at that! It's going up. Each time it goes over. You'll see it coming up here. There. So it's filling up along the bottom. And then, so each one of these air pockets here is pressurized by the water on the other side, pushing back. So this is just another proof of concept. I'm gonna see how much water pressure we can get out of this at limited flow rates. I realize that that's a limitation, but if you wanted higher flow rates, uh, just to prevent siphoning, you need larger pipe. So you could even build this out of two inch PVC pipe, and that would probably um, flow a lot of water. Even like a, a garden hose full of water would not be enough to create a siphon in two inch pipe, I think. All right, so that's going over the top there. So it's, it's draining out here with no flow restriction. Yet here, there's two, two or so PSI of pressure. <clears throat> so that's proof that it works. Uh, so now I just need to make it bigger. And so this is uh, 20 feet of pipe. Even if you made these sections taller, you wouldn't necessarily get um, more pressure out of it because you only have a column of water on one side. So the column of water you can generate with this uh, would only be about 10 feet worth of water column even if it was perfectly up and down. Um, okay, so I could maybe make it better if these were perfectly up and down because we're actually losing a little bit of height to the width. Um, So the pressure you can get is probably half the length of the pipe that you have total, uh, which would be, you know, 10 feet. And there's 2.3 PSI per foot of water. No, 2.3 feet of water per PSI. So at, at two feet there, or two PSI, that's gonna be 4.6 feet of water equivalent 
from these coils stacked up. Okay, so what I'm envisioning is you take some larger, maybe three quarter inch clear hose and you put it on a board and you loop it on the board so you can see exactly how far along on the coil it gets and at the bottom of every coil you can have like a drain tap so you could tap the coil from one coil up to you know 20 coils or whatever to get varying amounts of back pressure with zero flow restriction up to a certain PSI within the confines of fluid friction and inertia in the pipe. All right, so that, that's really cool. I'm surprised that this worked, kind of. I was doubting that it would, but physics prevailed. And that's all I have to say about that. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe, and hopefully we're gonna have some more water pumping videos coming up shortly, and no editing software required in this video, so it only took me 30 minutes total, start to finish. Bye.